So today we are going to in, introduce the APT based sapper package protections on Zen uh, for short as uh, SPP. We will have a uh, have a mm, high level introduce the SPP in the section two implementations and give its overall features. In section three, we will take two user cases for example, that experimentations is usage, uh, like securities and hardware specific usage. Uh, interrupt me if you have uh, any questions. Uh, as this slide here, yeah, the figures shows us uh, we have our original 4K page. Of course, 4K is the minimal uh, granularities to control the page. It is readable or read only. Uh, so that we, if we have a uh, use SPP, it will allow the protecting for the whole 4K page, and it will divide the 4K page to 32 multiplied 128 by Page. Uh, also, you can see the the, the 32 by 124 side page as here. Uh, I will implement, well, now we will high level and introduce the implementations of the side page protection something. Uh, we will give its overall picture and explain the side page protection protections on its overall pictures and its side page permissions table and its pointer. Separate permission tables uh, which call the SPTP and uh, it's induced to VMX uh, and its permissions tables, capabilities, its enforcement. Also, we will introduce to have a course to set and get separate red protection. Uh, next uh, is the uh, overall pictures of the separate separate uh, protections. Uh, you see the uh, before you see the SPP so that the uh, contract uh, EPT is forced. In original EPT, we have uh, in order to counter, uh, in order to convert the gas physical drive to host vehicles, we will have a four level EPT page tables. We will work to the four level EPT page table until we find the EPT lib entries and the EPT lib entries. We will we will read the writable bit if it's writable. Yes. The whole page will be read accessed to this page. Uh, uh, or not, if uh, uh, then we will write access denied the, for the 4K whole page. Uh, after we introduce the SPPs, we could uh, assume as the EPT we still work the EPT page tables as the forever page page tables, and then we will uh, if the writable bit is set and the right access to the whole page is uh, accepted. Uh, but if not, uh, the different way is we will take a look at the APT lib entry 61 entry, 61 bit. If this bit is set, then we will work the SPP tables. The SPP tables have our, it's a pointer is uh, read from the VMCS. And uh, then we look at the SPP tables, it's also the four level page structure and uh, until we find the SVP layer 1 entries. The SVP tables, uh, we will introduce its format and its, uh, its entry format uh, in the next few slides. Uh, for simplify, the last page frame will be, uh, will be the bitmap of the corresponding page. You see the other bit will be reserved, other bit will be reserved, and even bit will be the subpage read access bitmap of the corresponding page. From these figures, you see the you see the bit zero in the bit zero is set as the one. It means that the first 128 byte subpage is read a lot. And the even bit two is set zero. It says the uh, the next 128 bytes will be accessed then. And uh, this will trigger our original APT violations and then cause a VMX access to the hypervisor. Is there any questions on this page? Yeah, let's go. Uh, the subpage permission tables. Uh, 
the subject branch table format seems the uh, seems as uh, the APTs for level page instructors, and it is set up by hypervisor and worked by Hardware. Also, it will uh, point to the point to the SPPT uh, layer for layer for called SPPT point SPPTP. Uh, it is a sixteen four bit VNCS country field. Uh, which we can read from the uh, VMCS field and uh, and uh, uh, set up the SPPT page tables. Uh, the SPPT table structures layer four and layer three layer two entries are defined uh, seems as the EPT layer entries. The bit zero is the valid bit, is a present bit, uh, and the uh, N plus one bit to twelve is a physical address of four K four K page of the next levels of the four K page. Uh, the uh, the SPP layer one st uh, format is defined as below figures. It is a uh, its order bit will be reserved and if the bit will be the uh, one hundred twenty eight pages bit map. Uh, we also introduced uh, three VMXs about the uh, SPP. Uh, the first is SPP misconfig. SPP structure structure between main computers on support values uh, during SPP lookup. So we uh, we should trigger VM uh, VMX for SPP misconfig. Also, SPP page structures and uh, entries may not present at this time when we during look uh, during we look up the SPP tables. Then we will trigger the SPP miss. Uh, after that, if we found the SPP tables, uh, uh, table structure is also pre uh, uh, all prepared, and uh, the uh, the layer one entries write per write contrast but not permitted by SPPTs. They are cause uh, original EPT violations normally. And next we are the the. the let me introduce the uh, the core SPP uh, uh, three VM access. The first the, from this figure, the SPP point to, to the SPP layer four entries. So we work first. We work the entries and found its present and outer star bit. And next, uh, uh, we found the present bit is not stand. Um, then we will trigger our SPP miss, and uh, we will set up these two tables and cause VM entry to lock up the SPP table again. If it's unsupported values, we will have a SPP misconfig uh, VM access. It's a created two values, and we will cause the uh, gas crash. And next, we put all the table pre prepared, and uh, we found the level one entry as uh, the first big map is at zero. It means that we could trade uh, our uh, EPT violations here and uh, cause uh, and uh, let have better do some things. The permission tables also have its uh, capability and uh, uh, and VM exit uh, MSR to to control it. The capability is for VM MSR is uh, the twenty three bit and the VM sensing control field for this is also the twenty three bit for SPB's global enabler. Uh, next, uh, was the, the SPP permissions tables the enforcement of the EPT length entries. Uh, the the sixteen one bit is the flags of the EPT's uh, page structure entries. If the base set the, the basic page is set as PP flag, we will look up the SPP tables in the next. Also, we introduced uh, two hyper cores that a user to set up to set up their uh, SPP page tables. Uh, define the two hyper cores is a gas sub page write protection bitmap. Each bitmap uh, corresponding a uh, uh, GFN is a gas physical free number. Uh, each GS uh, a bitmap is uh, the host. Uh, uh, management uh, applications like Excel or some other security demo controls, it will set the protection bitmap where this is our control, or where this have call. Uh, let's move to the user case. The first user case is a security data structure protections. 
The film will have an original page. It is an allocated user data structure, and it has kind of fields like his name, his email address, mobile number. Also has some very, also there has some very private field like the user IDs, its fingerprint, and the private case. Bit infos we can define and let it could be divided to several sub page like this. Uh, corresponding the public field and the private field, next we'll have a certain to protect bit map to say the field is protected or not. Yeah, you see we have a certain to protect in there to say it's protected or is unprotected. Uh, the first user case, that's the take look that is process of the first user case. Uh, I have some different type of field. Assume the APT and SPP tables already prepared at the time. If we, a client, uh, read the public data areas, it will look up the APT tables and the PT tables and find the data area accept and we will have a pro of the program. And the next, if the client writes the private data area, uh, we also look at the APT tables and SPP tables, and found it is, uh, it, it is protected, and we have access to uh, to have better. So we, tri we, we trigger and find the, some protected areas, and uh, we are let the have better to do some security check, and uh, if it is denied, or trapped or approved by have weather. Is there any questions? Yeah, let's go ahead for the user case two. Uh, user case two is a much about the device and MIO space protections. Uh, yeah, you know we have a device MIO space about the it's a four K MIO space. The uh, it's about 4K MX6 space, and uh, we know the space is uh, already have its public red set and uh, sensitive red set. Uh, assume we have only one sensitive register side in a 4K page, we should lock up, we should set the whole page is red protected and uh, will be trapped by hypervalor. So that's, uh, that takes a lot of performance. Outside, we could enable the subpage protection. We could divide the 4K ML space to some sensitive registry side and public registry side. Uh, there are 13, 13 to the modify 128 by subpage, and we have a protect bit map. So uh, it's a flag that the, the, the whole page is protected or unprotected by, by the, the bit map. So a device, let's say the purpose to of your kit, assume we have uh, several different types, it's GPAs, uh, from, it have our sensitive registry side and the public registry side. And uh, we have a look at the uh, EPT tables and SPP tables, it's a pro, uh, and uh, it's a, if a sensitive registry side, it uh, will be then excited and trapped and emulated by hypervalors. Uh, to let hypervisor decide if it is uh, should be emulated or it is, should be do some do some other traps and scenes. Okay, from here the from some resource of the uh, the current status, uh, uh, we have the inter SDM also published in this site, and uh, then patch links uh, on this. On this link, and the KVM also have some some reference code in this link. Okay, that's it. Have any questions? Yeah. Yeah. 
uh, this flag, I think this flag is the uh, capabilities of FTP. It's reported by CPU. Yeah, this, this is the VNCS control field. Yeah. They will turn SPP. So if, if this, is, this bit is set, SPP is globally enabled. Yeah, yeah. but uh, if the DPT entries is not set, we will, we didn't look up the SPP table. So, so it's still uh, set as SPP is global enabled. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so it's still set as the SPP is global enabled. Can be aware of the data, I mean the address of data stored in the gas. Will the gas notify this uh, actually? Yeah, there will be two demos. The gas have a security demo and uh, the have a domain name. We will have the uh, uh, security demos. Okay, the gas will actually notify. Yeah, gas will have uh, something notify the domain zero and we'll, we'll trigger the, some, something about the hypercars to call the uh, SPP pay table. Yeah. yeah, thank you. Okay. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Sarah.